Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Lab. So again, back to our uh, AI agent series. So today we are going to talk about that uh, there is one interface which is provided by Open Router for all the LLMs. So they provide the APIs also to get all the LLMs and then you can use those LLMs models and everything in the Open Web UI. So today we will see that how can we integrate Open Web UI and the Open Router and then uh, how can we exactly get all the LLMs in the open web UI and then we can perform the task. You can just uh, train your model also or any model, any free or pricing model which is available. You can use it there in your local without any problem. You can host the open web UI in your local and the call the open router API. So you see that the open router is the unified interface for LLMs. Find the best model and the prices for your prompts. So we just need to call their APIs. They will provide the API key. We will call them and then we will use it in the open web UI. So how to do this? You will simply go to openwebui.com. Although this is just a simple uh, web URL that they have given, but you have to go to their official GitHub page. So this is the official GitHub page, open web UI. It's absolutely open source. You simply scroll down and uh, it says open web UI is an extensible feature rich and user friendly self hosted. AI platform designed to operate entirely offline. Like you don't need to host it anywhere. Absolutely, will it will work only in your local without any problem. It supports various LLM runners like Olama, OpenAI compatible APIs with built-in interface engine for RAG, making it powerful AI deployment solution. I'll prepare a separate video on the RAG also. But uh, if you see that uh, this is what the interface which is available, just like we see it in the chat GPT or other models, right? So now you can just configure any model, your favorite model, either it is Llama or DeepSeek or Gemini or OpenAI or whatever. You can just simply use it here. You don't need to go to the multiple uh, vendors or multiple LLM vendors in the market. So key features they have given like very effortless setup, very easy, easy integration, API integration with Llama or OpenAI integration or open router models. You can just simply fetch it through the API and number of features that they have given. You can just uh, simple configure it and then install it. And then you are absolutely good to go with that. Right. Make sure that Python 3.11 is available to avoid compatibility issues and then uh, make sure that your pip and the Python packages are available. You just need to run these two commands and then it will be up and running. So what I'll do, I'll show you how to install it and then how to use it. Okay, so now let's see how to install this. So what we have to do, first of all, we have to set up this environment. So what we will do, we will, let's create one directory here. So I'll go to my CD uh, documents. I'm going to create one directory and uh, let's see the directory name that I'm going to create that, uh, let's see, I'm writing, let's see, Naveen. Uh, open web UI, something like this. And then I'll go to this particular Naveen open web UI uh, directory. And then we have to create one Python environment, a virtual environment for that. So I'm going to write Python three, V uh, environment, and then uh, Python V minus M, we have to write it actually. And then we have to write, uh, let's see the environment name. So here I'm giving, let's see, open uh, web UI, something like that, right? And then uh, this environment will be set up. And then after that, we will source this environment here. So it will take few seconds. And then after that, we are just going to source it. And uh, we are going to write the source. This is my open web UI. And then you simple write, go to bin, and then simple activate this. Now, once we activate this, we are in the open web UI console, right? You can see it here. Now, after that, it's very simple. We just need to copy this particular command and then just simple install it. It take around, you know, five, 10 minutes to install it. It's quite lengthy. So once it is done, I'll come back to you. Okay. So now you can see it's uh, completely done and uh, great. So your new release of pip is available. This is just a warning and that's it. So after that, we just need to run the another command. We need to start the open web UI server. So simple run this command. Uh, it will open the web UI in the local host. And let me just clear the console and then you simple run this and uh, let's see. So here it's loading the web UI secret key from this and that generating a new secret key and saving to this Python 3.11 side packages. It's uh, loading there. And then now I think run migration and then almost done. So you see that it's giving me the open web UI console like web UI thing and then uh, building the best open source AI user interface, fetching 30 files, let it complete. And then I think it's done now. You see that it's running in my local 
this is the local host 8080 so what we will do we will just go to google i mean open a browser and then simple write local host colon 8080 here when you open this let me just uh, it will give you the auth so first you have to do what we have to create an account here so in my case i'm already having the account you can just click on sign in and then create your account enter your email id and the password so i'm entering my email id which is here let me just sign in and then that's it this is the ui interface which is available here i hope you guys can see this okay so once you hit the local host 8080 it will redirect to the auth page like login page i have already created the account on this so you can just simple first time it will give you the sign up page so just create your account and let's see for example i'm already having my account so just sign in after that it's pretty simple and now this is the dashboard page you will see and thing here see that right now what we have to do just simple go to your uh, admin panel and uh, first of all you can see your settings admin panel and this is the admin user which is already created once you sign up and then after that you simply go to the settings and then click on connections right so here you see that i'm already having this open router api v1 let me delete this okay let me delete this i'll show you once again and you see that by default they are giving uh, api open ai com v1 and just olama api they can use it and it will run in your local host here but we want other llm models also so in order to get other LLM models, we have to go where we have to go to the open router. We see that unified interface for LLMs, find the best models and the prices for your prompts. So click on this, go to open router. Again, first you do one thing, you just sign in with the open router with your Gmail account. So let's say I'm going to, so now you can see I've already logged in. Now what we have to do, we have to go to the keys here. So first of all that you can see all the models which are listed here like Dolphin and Llama and then OpenAI and Google Gemini. Uh, experimental free and then all the free and paid version everything is available see aeon labs also available quen is also there like n number of like around more than 200 250 models which are available here what i have done i've already added some uh, added some uh, credit with me like five dollars that i have already added for the practice point of view you can also add it if you really want to use it and so that you can use the other paid LLM models also here which will cost you like very minimal like five dollars in india if you talk about around 5 40 50 rupees that's it right and then after that what we have to do we just need to go to the a uh, keys here and then we have to generate a key so let's say i'm going to create a key i'm going to create let's see this is like naveen key that i'm going to create anything and then i'm saying with this particular key just use maximum limit as let's see one dollar so we have given this particular limit and beyond that it will not uh create so how exactly the price model work the more the more and more llm models are prompt that you are using it on the basis of the token it will just deduct the credit from the respective key and automatically your like from the five dollars it will deduct it but you can restrict it also that for this particular key i'm using maximum let's see one dollar right so like this i'm just going to copy this key from here now we will go to the admin panel back to this uh open web ui and now we are going to configure this so click on add connection and this is the api key that you have to write it and what is the base url copy this and then come back here and this is the base url and then you have to write api forward slash v1 here right although this same url you can check it in models also you simple go to models let's say i really want to go to a deep seek model for example so let's say this is the deep seek uh, r1 distal quen and then click on api and here you can see the base url which is listed here as well the same base url that you have to use it and this is the api key but we don't want the specific model we want all the models fetched from here and then use it here right so we are using api v1 and this is one and if you really want to add a specific model id also that also you can use it here right it says leave empty to include all the models right that's why it's saying that include all the models and then uh, that's it i simply say click on save and uh, we can do one thing we can just quickly check the connection also verify connection so server connection is verified and click on save now once it is done that's it after that we will go to the new chat and then here you can see that all the models are getting displayed over here any model you can check it and you can use it here so let's see for example let's see i'm going to use open ai o3 mini high or let's take something else let's see google gemini flash 2.0 that is what i really want to use it here i'm writing okay uh, tell me about uh, python uh something like this whatever so it will start giving you uh the answers and the prompt answer whatever the prompt that you are giving it is actually giving to me here and then 
you can use it accordingly here right but now let's see if i really want to use multiple prompts that also we can use it so let's click on new chat once again let's see one is gemini flash 2.0 you can take another model also let's see i'm taking llama guard this one and then i'm taking let's see one more model which is let's see um quen also we can use it or let's see aeon labs mini or aeon labs this one or then quen turbo also we can use it here so let's see i'm using these three models and then i'm writing a prompt here so here i'm writing okay give me a python code okay let's see simple i'm just writing a simple prompt to sort an array okay so to sort an array using what using let's see a merge sort something like this so this is the prompt that i'm giving and then i'm just simple hitting this and now you see that three columns one for google gemini one for uh, a llama and one for quen it's giving me the prompt one by one over here okay this is still thinking and then it will give you the prompt and whatever the the best prompt that you really want to use it you can just simply use it here like this right you can just simply copy and then paste it and then you can just use it from here right this is a llama guard is still thinking so maybe you can just you know add one more prompt here if you really want to use it and you can see the comparison how exactly they are giving almost same but whatever the best one you can just simply get it and then use it from here if you don't want to use this one just you can just simply remove it and then any specific combination you can use it and then check it here without any problem like it's very easy to use it here for example let's say if i go to new chat once again and then i don't want to use this one i don't want to use let's see quen turbo also let's use the deep seek model if you have this you can go there deep seek and then uh, let's see i'm going to use um, deep seek version 3 this one and then i'm giving a prompt okay so here i'm writing that give me the give me some ideas on 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 new startup okay on ai okay so something like this that i'm giving so it will start thinking and everything and then it will start giving you the prompt here so you see that here like this right so uh what is happening with my key you can just simply go and check it we can just simply go to the key section once again in the open router and we can see the all the activities from there you see that okay whatever i'm using where exactly for which model that i'm using the specific key which app is using like open web ui right is using it how many uh tokens are uh, uh you know taken and then what is the cost like 0 0.0062 dollars is taking here and then the speed and everything we can just simply use it here who is the provider for that so you see that the google gemini google is a provider then alibaba for the quen we know that okay quen is coming from alibaba and then accordingly we can check the complete activities over here right so like this you see that it's giving me a nice best one you want to take it you can just simply take it and then use it there accordingly that's it right there are a couple of other things also if you go to let's see admin panel and then you go to valuations and you can see their ratings also like one and lost rating which one is on the top you can just simply go and check it here that rating one lost and everything there are around 220 model this is the leaderboard which is there and uh, this is a user that you have created one admin user that is what you have created and uh, another thing is you can just simply go to let's see interface or uh, let's see go to the models click on the models here let's see there are around 228 models i can use it but let's see some models are like not useful or according to their rating it's not that great i can disable those models also from here right so i can just simply let's see enable or disable something like this simple admin settings go there and then use it there that's it so only those models which are uh, visible uh, which are enabled here only those models will be there in the new chat here in the drop down over here like this you can search anything whatever the model that you really want to use you can just use it here so this is what like simple integration between the open web ui and everything is running in my local and uh, we are just using the apis api calls that we are using from the open router open router we just need to provide the key create a key and then configure it here and then absolutely good to go with that no need to host it on any environment or anywhere it's running in your local it's running in your loan on it's running in your own local cloud or anywhere you can just simply host it on the aws cloud or anywhere but it's in your local it's in your under control right you don't need to go to some other lm uh, uh cloud services you don't need to go there for the confidentiality point of view or maybe if you don't want to 
uh, you know, give your prompt on their uh, cloud. So everything is locally hosted here. You can you you can simply use it here. So that's all for this particular video. I hope you liked it and uh, do this integration if you should. Just let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much, guys.